community good evening lifers let me know if you can hear me i'm ruth and i'm your peace coach and welcome to 15 the life where we learn grow and serve for a peaceful life if you have not already make sure you like the page follow the page and share the stream because we are growing our community and i need your help to do that i continue to be excited this month of august uh, with my special guest last week you all know I had my niece on, Miss Rosanna Smith, all the way from um, Montgomery, Alabama. And she is just an accomplished young woman. So, so, so proud of her. And we discussed her journey uh, to health and wellness. And if you were on last week, and if you have any questions that you would like to ask her uh, from last week about her journey, uh, why she made that journey, any uh, struggles or whatever, anything that you would like to ask her that you think that might would help you on your journey, then uh, put that in the comment section and let me know. I have my great niece. She's off to the side. She is Manny, uh, the comment section, and she will see that and let me know your questions. And then I will ask them of Rosanna. But one of the things that happened uh, when, while she and I were talking is uh, we talked about her transitioning from, because she worked at WSFA 12, I believe, a new station in Montgomery, Alabama. She was a reporter and she did that for eight years and she won awards and was very, very successful at that. But she made a transition out of that. And now she is working full time uh, at communications and she can give me the full title when she comes on um, at her church, which is in Montgomery, Alabama. And so as soon as she told me about her making that transition, I thought, my goodness, I said, that's something that I would like to talk to you about, because so often in life, we want to make transitions. We want to make that change. We want to do something different. We feel that pull, but we're too afraid to make that change. And so as soon as she told me about, and I thought that was a big transition, I told her, I said, well, we need to talk about that, that transition. So I am going to bring Rosanna on because you know, we have 15 minutes. Again, make sure if you have not <laughs> shared the stream, make sure you share the stream uh, with your friends, with your family, uh, because I believe that there is somebody out there, you know of somebody who needs um, what Rosanna is going to be talking about today. And so we don't want to keep this a secret. We want to spread the word about this. So let me get to my special guest. Hold on. All right. Hey. Yay. Hey. How are you, beautiful? I'm great. I'm so glad to be back. Yeah. And we are glad to have you back. And uh, lifers, if you all are glad to have Rosanna back, y'all give me some clapping hands or tell me that you're glad to have her back because I know that I am. And like I was saying, Rosanna, you, you know, we were talking about uh, you transitioning from uh, being a reporter for a, a local um, you know, TV station to uh, working at your church. And some of the questions that I wanted to ask you was first of all why or, or first of all i guess did you want to make the change or was this something that just happened and it was like i need to jump at this or were you feeling the pull of a change so it came out of nowhere <laughs> i literally had been just volunteering and doing some freelance work uh, with the church i've been going there since i was a junior in college and mm -hmm literally my pastor pulled me off to the side and he was just like, Hey, I'm thinking about adding on a communications person. And I think you would be the perfect person for the job. And I was like, Oh, I'm interested. But mm -hmm. the cap that was, I was still in a three-year contract. Mm -hmm. So there financial responsibilities and things that come along with, you know, breaching a contract. Um, right. And so it really just came out of nowhere. But at the same time, like 
I didn't feel a hesitation to move forward with it. Okay. That is awesome that you did not feel that hesitation because again, so often we are presented with an opportunity, but we yes. go, mm, I don't know. And then I think in the end, we miss those opportunities. Like, do you think that, you know, that if you had said, ah, I don't know, I'm, I got this three-year contract, there's some, you know, like you said, financial responsibilities, if I break this contract and I don't know, I'm pretty comfortable here because again, we get comfortable where we are, it's like, you know, the eagle staring the nest and we know we should be doing something different, but we just are so afraid. So there was no hesitation. You weren't afraid at all when you made that move. Literally, I was not afraid. Like when he asked me and I was like, oh, I'm very interested. I just got to get some stuff in order. And I like literally prayed because I was just like, God, I don't know how this is going to work out, mm -hmm. but it worked out in my favor even when it came to the dilemma that I was facing, the fear that I was facing, because I chose to do it afraid and the Lord worked mm. it off. Um, but I had so much peace through the process. Um, of course, it was not an easy process. I was in the midst of a contract. So it was not an easy process, but I did it. I did do it afraid. <laughs> and I like what you said. You did it afraid. Because it when we make those transitions, um, it's not always the perfect where you know exactly this is going to work out this way. This is going to work out that way. It's all going to be perfect. And I know exactly how it's going to be. And most often it is not. And we have to do it afraid. And I love that. Yes. So we have to step out of our comfort zones and not be afraid. So what, uh, I guess I'm sort of asking the, the same question. So what advice would you give someone who is contemplating making a transition maybe from one job to another or you know something like that maybe starting would, a business stepping out on their own you know what what sort of advice i would say don't wait i would say seek god if you have peace about it and you do not feel an abundant no in your spirit move forward with it and trust god that he's going to work out if you have um you know sometimes we don't see the full picture and i will i will put this out there Sometimes when we want to start the business or want to make the move in a career, we don't see the long term big picture when, in fact, the Lord may be tugging you in a different direction. He may be releasing you from that previous job to move into the new job. And he just mm -hmm. move forward, even though you may not see everything that's going to uh, come after that. And I say that because it was almost six months to the wow. date when COVID shut down everything mm -hmm. and my knowledge and my skills were a godsend to what the Lord, the direction the Lord was taking mm -hmm. our ministry in the midst of COVID having to not have indoor services strictly online. And it was my skill set that he had allowed me to gain over eight years mm -hmm. that allowed me in that moment. And, you know, it, it almost seems like, you know, sometimes the Lord has us in a place and it's almost like he's preparing us for what's ahead. We don't see it. We don't know what's ahead, mm -hmm. but he's preparing mm -hmm. us for what's ahead. Mm -hmm. Definitely trust God. Pray. I had people that I trusted that I went to and I said, hey, you know, I need you to be praying about this. Because, yes. you know, I need the Lord to work some stuff out on my behalf. So having that those people in your life that can pray for you, intercede for you, uh, you know, ask the Lord to open your ears and open your heart. Um, and yeah, that's a lot mm -hmm. the mouthful right I'm, there. Well, what what I am hearing you say, I heard you say, first of all, that God prepared you for this position. That's really another thing. I think. Sometimes we discount ourselves that we don't think that we're good enough or that I can do that, but God's not going to put something on you that he has not already prepared for you to do. Even if you don't feel like fully that you can do it, but he has prepared you. You have to just trust him and trust that process. And then I think the other thing that I heard was surrounding yourself with the right people. You have to surround yourself with the right people because what if you were around 
people who told you when you told them i'm thinking about transitioning out from the reporter to go work for my church because a lot of people look at that as a glamour job it's like why would you quit that job you're on tv everybody knows who you are you know you're going to get certain perks when you go in the store because it's oh it's rosanna so let's you know give her a free something because she's you know famous and so there there are there certain perks that come with that so you may have had a person that says you know why would you want to do that why would you want to give all of that up to go work for your church like why would you do that so it's so it is it's so important to have the right people around you that's going to push you into your destiny instead of trying to hold you back would you that agree with that or I completely agree because I got those sort of questions from people outside of my inner circle. I got the questions of why would you why would you leave TV? Little did they know, you know, sometimes we we ask questions of people or people may ask you questions and they don't know the inside scoop. We see one we see one aspect of the story when we look on Absolutely. social media. When we look on in, in different areas of people's life, we get about a six second, you know, snapshot of somebody's life, but we don't know the behind the scenes. I had right. family, I had missed family gatherings. I had missed friends, weddings, uh, you know, baby showers thing. I love family and missing out on big opportunities like that. I was always on call. Mm -hmm. I was always working when I wasn't working. So, you know, right. it's. It was just the added stress. And I just feel like, you know, sometimes, you know, again, you just, you never know. But you're so right. You, if I had not had those people rooting for me, mm -hmm. cheering for me, trusting the God, what God had said to me. Right. Then I would be in a much different position. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Wow. That is so good. All right, ladies, if you, lifers, if you are watching right now and if you have some questions for Rosanna, please put that in the comment section. Uh, do we have any questions yet? No, not no, yet. No, not yet? Okay. Well, I know I'm enjoying this conversation. If you're enjoying this conversation, you know, <laughs> let me know. Um, but it is so important, ladies, that you understand that, that God does prepare you. And I think that's one of the things that we're, we're doing here, even with 15 to Life is I'm trying to uh, prepare you for the things that God has for you and where you are right now would not be where you're going to be maybe even tomorrow or a year from now. You just don't know. But I think you always have to be open. I believe, I think that if somebody maybe had told Rosanna a year before her pastor came to her, she probably would have been like, no, that's not going to happen. But, you know, but it did. And so you just have to be willing to hear, to be able to move and not uh, stay in fear because it will hold you back. And there's so much that you will miss out on life because of fear and not being and being afraid to make those transitions. Well, let me ask you, um, we got about just a couple more minutes. So what would you say has been the best outcome of you making the transition from a reporter to working at your church? So I would say, you know, I felt, you know, pretty fairly fulfilled, you know, every day I would tell different people's stories. I was connecting with the community. I love that aspect, but I, I've always had a heart for God and I've yes. all, um, you know, some way, shape, form or fashion, my mom, had us as little kids, you know, you know, you can volunteer within your church. So I'm mm -hmm. all for that. My mom had us doing that growing yes. up. So that was, that was always instilled in us. So being full time um, and being able to lend such a, or play such a pivotal role in the day and age that we live in right mm -hmm. now, especially with just how church is changing and how we do church is changing. And the fact we may not be able to go back to quote unquote, yes. the North. Um, it's always going to be an emphasis on, uh, you know, operating in a different way than we're used to. So mm -hmm. I just feel so much more fulfilled than I did yes. before. Yes. No, I, you know, I, I think that sometimes we, we think that, church and ministry involves being on a stage and being seen and little do the behind the scenes you know i'm not always out and about 
at church. A lot of the stuff that we did during COVID and still we're doing now, it was behind the scenes. Nobody, mm-hmm. all the hours that we took working, editing, putting content together, recording different sermons. Mm-hmm. I think that's the case for a lot of churches. And, you know, when it comes to getting volunteers to help out, you know, we have to realize like everybody plays an intricate part. So when you have to the Lord, whether that be online, whether that be in person, uh, in person service, Mm -hmm. what you did behind the scenes, I do believe is going to be counted when you, when you get to heaven. Is is <laughs> and you know that, what? Now you know what our time is up, but you have opened up a whole nother uh discussion. See what you do? You've opened up a whole nother discussion because some of the best work is done in the dark, yes, behind the scenes. So that's behind. a whole nother discussion right there. Oh wow, this has been oh Rosie. I'm gonna have to have you back real soon. Again, thank you so much for these two Sundays that you have been on. I'm just totally honored that you're taking the time to to be on here. And ladies, I know, lifers, I know you all were blessed by her. And uh, who knows, we might have to invite her up and have her come and speak to the women or something for an event. And uh, yes, and and talk about her expertise and her life journey. Um, But ladies, again, our time is up. But I just want to tell you that I love you. I believe in you. I believe in your dreams. And if you feel in that tug of, of transitioning, maybe from one job to another, or maybe starting that business or whatever it, it may be, I will be praying for you th- that you make the right decision and that you have the right people around you as you make those decisions. All right, ladies, I love you. I'm going to try to get to my outro here. I love you all to life. Again, thank you, Rosanna, for being on tonight. And you ladies have a great and peaceful week. And I will see you back here next Sunday. All right. Bye-bye.